Hello, this is Mr. Rhodes. I'm going to give a brief discussion as to how you use a protractor to measure angles. Uh, first up, we're going to go ahead and get an angle drawn. As things appear on the screen, uh, pretend kind of that the screen itself is your paper and make it about the same size on your paper. We're going to use a little bit of room as we go through this to get, uh, I don't know, get used to the ideas, I guess. Uh, if you make them too small at the beginning, it becomes very tedious. So go ahead and draw your angle. And the first one we're going to have going this direction. And again, make yours look pretty much like mine. Once we have that, uh, we're talking about angles. So we have to remember, before you even measure an angle, decide, is it acute, obtuse, or is it very, very close to being a right angle? So this one, because it starts here at its initial ray and then goes up, it's not open very far. Generally speaking, these two rays are heading the same direction. That makes it an acute angle. An acute angle is a small angle. So let me grab my protractor real quick. Oh, didn't want to do that. My protractor is a lot like most standard protractors. Where mine has a green arrow, your protractor most likely has a hole in it. That hole is reserved for the vertex of your angle. Now, when you lay the protractor on top of your angle, you want to make sure of two things. Like I said, the vertex needs to be right here. And one of your rays, it doesn't matter which one, has to line up with zero, just like you see right here. So, as I look at this, my other ray is passing through either 30 degrees or 150 degrees. So, let's look a little more closely at it. Now, here we go. It's going, looks just shy of the big mark. So, let's call it 30 degrees or 150, whichever. Let's say it passes right through it just for argument's sake. Now, we now have to make a decision. If you look, there are smaller numbers on top and bigger numbers on the bottom. No matter where you are in the protractor, you're always going to have two choices. In this case, we have to decide, do I want the small number, which is 30, or the large number, which is 150? Go back to what type of an angle it is. This is an acute angle. The definition of an acute angle is from 0 to 90. That means 150 is out of our discussion. It's too big. It's over 90 degrees. So we look then at the 30 degree angle. So the measure of this angle is 30 degrees. And just to double check, here we go. Let's take this up. It is 30 degrees. And you can compare that our 30 degree angle matches up almost exactly with the angle we drew. So this is a 30 degree angle. Now, let's move on to another example, and we'll kind of get the idea that protractors can measure from both directions. So, the next example I'd like you to have in your notes will look like this. Uh, make sure you get this one kind of steep. I, I like to have this one in a different area than where the other one was. So, bring our protractor. and get it lined up. Again, get the hole right over the vertex. And yes, it's going a different direction, but notice this ray lines up with zero, this zero right here. So let me switch this around real quick. And what's that little guy doing there? All right. Now, let's zoom in a little bit. And we can see that the ray is going either between 70 and 80 or between 100 and 110. For this example, we start off with an obtuse angle. So we know that we have between 100 and 110. So this is 100, 101, 102, 103. This is a 104 degree angle. All right, the next thing that we need to do is to actually draw an angle. And for this, 
what we're going to be doing is starting off with what's known as an initial ray. So get your initial ray, something like this. And the measure that I want to have, I want the measure to equal 163 degrees. And forgive me for not using symbols. Uh, the smart board software is just really not compatible with that, so we're doing what we can. The measure equals 163 degrees. That's up there for reference. So, coming back to our protractor. If I want a 163 degree angle, I have two choices. I can either put a 163 degree mark right here, or I also have, if you look right over here, between 160 and 170, I have a 163 degree mark approximately there. So we have to consider, do we want the blue mark or do we want the green mark? Well, the answer comes in the measure itself. A 163 degree angle would be an obtuse angle. Because it's obtuse, we have to not only open to here, that's not far enough. When you look at this angle, this is only a 17 degree angle. This is acute. It hasn't opened far enough. So, we take it to the other side, and this would be the angle we're looking for. Of course, you don't, I would assume, have this nifty little feature on your protractor. So what I'll do, we now know that the blue mark is going to be out. So let's get rid of it altogether, and then we will take the protractor and do everything we can to line this up the way we want it. And this is what it would look like for you. You take your protractor, line it up from the red dot down to your end point of the initial ray, and then we're simply going to draw from there to there, and voila. We have a 163 degree angle.